quick flash of Wall Street. The Dow is down in response to President Trump living up to his America first promise. He just slapped uh, tariffs on China, saying the move is in response to China's theft of American intellectual property. But he also pointed out that his anti-trade platform likely helped him at the polls. We're doing things for this country that should have been done for many, many years. We've had this abuse by many other countries and groups of countries that were put together in order to take advantage of the United States. And we don't want that to happen. We're not going to let that happen. It's probably one of the reasons I was elected, maybe one of the main reasons. So let's go to Jim Tankersley, tax and economics reporter for The New York Times. And, and to be precise, we, we saw the president today talking about how he's going to, you know, slap these tariffs in, in the ballpark of $50 billion on Chinese imports. But what I want to know, Jim, is, you know, for people watching, why do they care? How does this impact everyday Americans? Well, it's going to depend on where the tariffs are actually applied, because it depends on whether or not you buy the products that are going to have the tax put on them. That's what a tariff is. A tariff is a tax. Now, the White House has said they're going to try to tailor these tariffs so they don't hit things that you and I buy most of the time. So probably not shoes or other apparel. But it's really possible that it's going to raise consumer prices in some way. We're just not sure how until we see what the list is. So, you know, the last time we were talking tariffs was, of course, the, the, the White House's steel and aluminum tariffs that, that also took aim at China. And I was talking to Rick Newman last hour of Yahoo Finance, and he called them toothless tariffs. You know, m my phrase, much ado about not, not, not as much, right? And, and, and so I'm wondering, with, with this, might this go that same way? What, what, how might China retaliate? Well, the retaliation is something that could uh, escalate and it could get ugly. You know, in particular, we saw today uh, administration officials were testifying on Capitol Hill and there was a lot of concern from representatives and senators from farm states about the ways in which China could, for example, put tariffs on U.S. soybean exports, which is a big deal to farm country and, and a big deal in China. They import a lot and of And that's American Trump's soybeans. voters. So, Yes, it is. Absolutely. And so this is and the administration acknowledges this, that agriculture always gets hit back um, because we export a lot of agricultural goods. So that's a big concern. And if we respond to that and then it escalates, that, that's the trade war scenario people are worried about. Yep. Yep. We're going to keep a close eye on the Dow. Jim Tankersley, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, I want to get back to our breaking news uh, ahead here on CNN. President Trump's lead attorney for the special counsel investigation is resigning. CNN has learned several high profile lawyers uh, have already turned down offers to take his place. So more on that. Also, Stormy Daniels attorney demanding the Trump organization preserve documents and emails relating to her payment to stay quiet. This, as CNN has a new insight into what Stormy Daniels is telling her closest friends about this whole scandal.